have corn, we'll travel. Mexican corn coming up, stick around. I'm craving something that I really liked when we were growing up. And we'd just go to an old corn patch and just go to pulling them ears right off the stalk till you get them full in a tow sack, take them home, clean them up. Mama boil them on top of the stove and then we'd let them cool. But I don't like boiled corn no more. I like grilled corn. I'm gonna show you how to grill it and the sweet little lady is gonna come by and she gonna put this stuff on it that, whoo, out of this world. All right, folks, we gotta clean this corn, so what do they call it? It's just like oysters. Shuck it, it, then you'll get that silk off of it. I like to wash it a little, then I'm gonna take a paper towel. My mother, you just take a little old brush and just go to trying to get the rest of them silk off of it. But when you're cooking corn on the grill, you'll burn that silk off that's any left on there. But I like to dry that corn because we're gonna knead it dry because we're gonna roll it in olive oil and I don't want it beating up on top of that water. But when you go to the grocery store, first of all, and they'll usually have one where you can see. Now, if you're just buying it and it's all still in the shuck sitting out there, get a hole, pull some of that back and just go to looking. Make sure that you don't see no worm tracks in there or nothing else. I like to see that corn got a little pop to it. Did you see it? That's good juicy corn. You don't want it so hard you can't pop it. it ain't. I'm just gonna brush them old grates really well. We're gonna grease it. Even though it ain't meat, might not stick, I'm gonna grease it a little anyway. I like to see that flame jump up out of it, as long as it don't jump in the can. Okie dokie. The grill is ready to go. We have oiled it. So let's grease this corn up just a little. Just regular old olive oil. There'll be enough in that pan time we roll this around the grill both sides. What we're using today, Red River Ranch Mesquite Seasoning. We're gonna throw it on the grill. Now folks, you see me shut the lid on that grill and that temperature gauge is climbing, but I got this vent closed. I got this vent closed. What I'm doing is I'm trapping a little of that mesquite smoke in there for flavor too. Now, this corn will pop if you leave it on there just like that corn you cook when you're making popcorn. So rotation is the key. If you're doing this on a gas grill too, shut that lid. Let's keep some of that heat in there. It'll make that corn, really it gives you a steaming effect sort of too as that smoke is circulating plus the heat. Now you can see about how far we are away from the fire, which is about probably four inches. So I think things are starting to color up a little. And you can see they are just starting to happen. We'll give them another roll all the way around here to me. Ooh, that's what I'm after right there. I like that one. He is my favorite. So we're just going to keep rolling them around there. Trap that smoke in there. Get us some of that flavor. Because we want that color throughout that corn. But I'm going to call it ready to go because I'm getting hungry. Be some fine heat. No, I figured we might have had eight to ten minutes invested in it total after we got it on the grill and kept rotating, shutting the lid. About four inches off the fire, probably running anywhere from 400 to 450 degrees when that lid is shut. Key is rotation. You can see we're getting this color, but it's good and soft. That's what we're after. Everywhere's pretty uniform. I guess you could eat it just like that. I just wish maybe so I could get Shan out here to work some of her magic. Maybe if I could just get some magic. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Did you like how it popped in like that? Where'd you come from, sugar? Well, it's the magic of editing. Well, I got this corn done. I see this. This looks yummy. But I, I would like to have something on it. Don't you make us a little something? I do. And it's would really good. I mean, your corn looks great. It's got that good char, which is going to have its own flavor. But let's just give it a little more of a Mexican kick. Let's get started with the secret sauce. Hey, I bet it's going to be good. Okay. Three tablespoons sour cream. Three tablespoons of mayonnaise, half teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of garlic salt, powder, sorry, garlic powder, half a teaspoon of cumin, a fourth of a teaspoon of ancho. I'm just going to give it a little shake. I'll whisk that up. A tablespoon, maybe, of lime juice, kind of just to taste. Parmesan cheese. Just the, I'd say maybe about uh, two tablespoons. 
Okay. Whoa, so shit. doesn't that hey, look good? That put it on that corn girl so, when I go to town. So you get this Let's and make it, this a you feed can, lot. it'll be a nice creamy consistency and look, I got a special tool. A toothbrush. No. It's my slather. Slather brush. My slather brush. Put me some on one of them right So rascals. you just I mean get it pretty let them cool just a minute first. Get it pretty thick on there. Ooh. And you're oh gonna wanna just really get that all the way around. Look at that good one's next. Come back with your cheese and you then put cheese in that too. Cheese in it, and then you're gonna top it with a little cheese. Mexican style corn. Give her a go. So tell, tell me about what are the, the fiesta of flavors that you're feeling right now? It's like Cinco de Mayo in July and my mustache is telling me to go back again. Oh man, is it good. Let me get a rag. This and is... See, oh my gosh, that's it's, good. It's good. Eh? I don't even really like corn all that much as you know, but wow. Yeah. Now, I'm kind of actually even surprised at myself. You don't like to eat corn right off the cob, which a lot of times I don't. Take the real corn and just go down and slice the um, corn off oh, there. Just put, put it in a bowl. Then you take your sauce, mix just a little bit in just to the right consistency that you like. Mix it well. Put it in a, I mean you could serve it cold just like that, or you can put it in a cast iron skillet. Top it with a little more cheese, bake it at 350 just till it warms through. And then you've got yourself a little grilled Mexican corn skillet dish. If you save a little bit of that, it's like good like corn tortilla chip dip. Yes ma'am, you can put that on ice cream. In fact, I'm just gonna eat this with cereal in the morning. I, that would work. It's a simple, easy recipe, just like our aprons say, you can't get full on fancy. We ain't never been nothing about fancy, but this is a classic dish, so easy to make. Channel have the description and everything in the little link below, right? Yeah. Click the show more button below this video and that'll give you all the info. And, and folks, we, we appreciate y'all so much for taking time out of your busy day. We know that y'all are busy. We, we like to show people how to cook a little, how to have a good time, bring people together with food, uh, share a little cowboy wisdom and maybe a little history and just share the love. God bless you each and every one. And what button do you hit, Shen? Subscribe and get the fire hot. Take care. You used to have me dance all the time when we do one of these deals. Oh yeah, can you dance? I'm gonna do it. Can you do your Mexican corn well, dance? Got... Oh boy! Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Have corn, we'll travel. We're gonna show you how to grill up us some corn with some sweet, I don't know what you, what are you putting on it? What are you calling it? It's just the Mexican grilled corn. Ready? Take 17, cause I ain't too smart. Ready, Shan? <laughs> Ready? Have corn, we'll travel. Stick around. Grilled. What is it? It's grilled Mexican corn. Here we go.